Hello everyone, this is Jesus Vasquez from Station, and today we're going to be learning about how we can restrict access to certain pages or certain pages within your app based on whether or not the user have um, a password. Um, so I just created a brand new installation for Bubble. I'm going to get rid of everything in the in this page uh, because I want to build everything from scratch so you can see exactly how I'm going to get it done. Um, we're going to convert this to the new responsive engine just because it's a little bit faster, a little bit better in my opinion. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new page uh, that is going to be called group and it's going to be a clone of the index page. Uh, this page is going to be a column and same thing for this one it's going to be a column all right so basically what we want to do is we want to prevent people from accessing on uh, this page so what's going to happen is we're going to create and this is just so we can see which page it is um, and this is going to be called group so basically um, if anybody want to access this page they need to have a password if they don't have the password then well tough luck you're not going to be able to get in all right so let's go back to the in this page and in the in this page uh, we want to create a group let's see how we can do this best uh, we're going to create on this group it's going to be here in the middle and it's going to have an input form and this input form would be a group password please enter your password and we're going to leave it as a test um, of course, if you wanted to have a little bit safer, then uh, you could do password, but this is not the type of password that we're going to do. Um, and then we're going to have a button here that says request access. All right, so. Let's go to the database and um, there is nothing in the database so we're going to create one that is groups and the groups have users and that is going to be a list and the group have a password um, which is a test it's only one password so what's going to happen is Actually, let's create um, and you have a group name and that is a test so the group name would be stitch on the name of my company the password is stitch on 2022 um, yep those and there are no users and we're going to create an user well we're going to create two users so test at mail.com and mail at test.com uh, let's make this a little bit different so we can differentiate okay here we go no special characters got it so basically there are no users here and these are our two users uh, the workflow that we want to use is going to be uh, let's see so it's going to navigate to the group page but it's 
only going to do that when the group password input value is, and we're going to do a search for a group this is the type of content is going to be group and it's only when current page group password uh, contains uh, the group password input value so as long as this is correct going to add a pause and then we're going to go to the page group and we're going to create a, another page we're going to call it sorry This is going to say sorry your password is wrong or incorrect and standard remove style middle let's make it big so we can see it uh, let's go back to the in this page Doesn't contain actually I just noticed we did something wrong I, you see I'm thinking something in my head but uh, yeah my actions are not matching what I'm thinking in my head so here we don't need to add this So as long as the password is correct, it's going to go to the page group. If it's incorrect, it's going to go to the sorry page. Uh, let's go back. Ooh, okay. Ah, I know what I was going to do. Ah, oh, man. You see this? It's not even here. Crap. I'm going to add a pause. changes and we're making changes to the current page group and we're going to add the current user to that list um, let's see sure this we're going to have to create a group list and uh, let's see how we do this and the group actually no we're going to create a repeating group let's do a search for groups and one three just because design competition here so here okay so you just copy everything so here what it's going to do is going to take us to the password page uh, which in this case is the index page so here the index page and it's taking current cell group all right so 
let's give this a try so here uh, here's the group actually let's do one small change just because you know uh, I want you to see exactly uh, how it should look like let's make a little change so here's the group the group name is stitch on just like the group uh, that we had created before uh, stitch on group name so here uh, it's going to take us to um, to the password page uh, we're going to um, now we're going to go and copy the password paste it here and we're going to request access and hmm, it took us to the luck group page which is exactly where it was supposed to take us luck group now let's go back and make sure that it added on the user and yeah it added testatmail.com now we're going to go and we're going to run as this user uh, but not on this page on the group list page uh, so stitch on and let's say may uh, 15 2022 20, request access and sorry your password is incorrect because it didn't match on uh, the password that was in the database and just like that, that's how you can lock pages or um, any features within your website where if the user doesn't have um, the correct input, then they will not be able to access the page or the feature. Um, I hope you learned something today. I will include the edit editor um, link down in the bottom just in case you want to go and take a look yourself. But that's basically it for today. Thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like the video share with share with anybody else that might find it helpful